Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today we're going to talk about the DTF printing. Uh, when you have uh, these kind of smudges consistently, and if you notice, notice it's up here about here, right before it reach this metal bar. Also, you can see the printing quality is good. So it printed perfectly until it got smudges. So we need to free the print that carriage first. We turn on the power as soon as the print that, uh, print that moves, we can cut uh, the power off. It depends on how your printer is set up. Uh, this model is uh, there's a cover, and uh, so we remove this cover. If you have cartridges, remove the cartridge, of course. If you have a dampers, I suggest you to mark your damper, uh, either one, two, three, four, five, six, or like me, the, the white one, white two. Now I can put them aside. Now we have to remove this plate. Uh, let me take another plate, just show you where the uh, where the tab is. See the tab right here? So we need to push them inwards to lift it up. If, you dis if you're going to keep your printer for a while, and uh, I suggest you get a set of uh, dentist too, I'm going to put a link in the description. Uh, you can get from Amazon. Oh, if you have a wire, you can just make one. Anyway, just uh, just use it to go behind the tab and uh, push in and uh, take the, the plate out. Now we're going to work on those cables. Be two tabs, but do not use dentist tool on the first tab. If you have a use a dentist tool, make sure that you have a protector there because sometimes you slip and then you're going to punch a hole on the white cable. Uh, what I do is uh, I usually just use my nail. I got a little bit of nail here. If you don't have nail, then you have to other thing. So just leave this tab like this, leave it up. The second tab is a little bit below it. And after I take it out, I will show you where the, where the two tabs. And you can see here's the lower tab. And uh, here's the top tab. Now we can take the cable out of that loop. You're going to see three screws on the print head and uh, just use a screwdriver to remove all screws. Uh, save the screw at a safe place uh, because uh, it's pretty hard to find those screws. We're going to fix the cost of it first. Uh, this is caused by the wiper. It's not cannot be effectively wiped the uh, print head anymore. So <clears throat> we get uh, we take our dentist too. Uh, if you want to keep your printer, it is really handy to have a set of dentist too. I'm going to put a link of the dentist too on the description. So take your plaque removal tool and uh, just go uh, alongside the rubber, and you can see there are lots of gunk com coming up, and uh, you're going to see a uh, like a uh, flakes coming out like this, and just take it off. Uh, this box is used to suck ink out of the print head, so we're going to work around the box, and also push your uh, tool in the sponge. Make sure the sp sponge is moist, and uh, we make sure this box can have an uh, uh, airtight seal when you suck ink. Then use your tool, flip this lever up, and uh, you're going to see a uh, uh, rubber blade is kind of a windshield wiper that are going to wipe the uh, print head horizontally. So we're going to remove all the plaques and uh, rubbery stuff out of here and then just push it back and it's going to retract. And uh, take a look of underneath the print head. If you see the rubbery stuff there, take those, uh, take those uh, out. But most likely it's underneath this uh, print, print head carriage. You can see uh, the print head sit on top of this, so they're quite a distance, and the, the lowest part is bottom of this uh, print head carriage. So we're going to get a piece of uh, non-woven fabric. So you can just get any kind of uh, polyester. If you make a polyester shirt, just cut a piece off. I find that those uh, t-shirts work really well. Uh, you can see those rubber stuff start coming coming out, and uh, we just try to remove them, and you can see it's on the bottom now. And uh, we're going to look at this angle and uh, see if there there are any rubber stuff still there, and we're going to move the carriage a little bit, and. 
and uh, check. Sorry, I cannot get a good angle, but uh, if you see it, you can, oh, you can see the rubber stuff there. And I call this shoe sign. Uh, there's some some people do not remove their print head. Uh, when doing this, they just put a piece of fabric underneath and move the print head back and forth. Uh, I, I I usually do not do that because it only take like a minute to take the print head out. Uh, why not just get it completely clean? Uh, risking the chance that uh, you might scratch the print head. Anyway, it's up to you. You can just uh, uh, you can do either one. Also, because there's no print head there, you can do some extreme thing. Like uh, I like to put a piece of cardboard underneath, and uh, you can see the cardboard. Oh my God! I can see how much cardboard removed. And clean up. Okay, another printer saved. Uh, look how bad it was, and uh, after 10 minutes, it's as good as new. Hello mortals, your printer is saved. Kevin's YouTube channel is the answer to your prayers. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro. North Carolina. Cheers.